in the greenhouse we've got uh, tomatoes we've potted on and they've they're now well established this is the last week of April and we've got our Elsa Craig tomatoes sweet corn are coming on nicely they've been in here now or they were sowing um, just over a week ago squash they're coming on nicely we've got two separate sowings of squash so they're about a fortnight apart that's so we don't get all male flowers in one go our spray plants are now established they've been potted on Cape Gooseberry um, money maker tomatoes courgettes sweet capsicum peppers coming round some more money maker tomatoes some beefsteak tomatoes from save seed and pumpkin now a French variety of pumpkin there we go again some more there that's a different variety I like to have two varieties of pumpkin that gives a chance for um, if one variety doesn't do so well and we've got a few sunflowers sown as well so there we go that's the greenhouse already I reckon we'll be looking to plant some of these out oh, probably in about a fortnight's time next stop up the allotment we are now in the second half of April and things are beginning to leaf up so our cold frame we, we started with the cold frame last time let's start with the cold frame this time as you can see the beetroot are beginning to fatten up so that should give me some early picking the beetroot the leeks behind there behind the beetroot are not quite big enough yet to put out and well perhaps they want they want a couple more weeks yet I've got a few early carrots there looking good a really nice neat row of lettuce which is good the peppers that I sowed don't look as though they've come up and the, and the uh, the sunflowers, I don't know where they come from, they're just um, seeds that have got in there from somewhere. Okay, so let's come on round very slowly, so as we don't all get dizzy. There's the broad beans that were sown directly in the grain last November. Um, they begin it, they are surviving but all patchy. The garlics, they are looking ex excellent. They are looking really good. And then we come round to the broad beans that I put in as plants. They were sown in the greenhouse and brought back as plants and they are looking superb. In my book, that's the way to do it. You remember the peas that we sowed in the guttering? There they are, they are looking really superb. They just begin to climb up the sticks which I put in about two weeks ago had lots of rain and, and sunshine these last over this last week and that is what has brought those peas on brilliantly. Strawberries are just getting flowers on them. I've laid those sticks across the strawberry patch ready to uh, to take the net in because once those strawberries start to come then the birds and the pigeons are going to want to eat them. And the grapevines Look at them, they're all just beginning to bud up, look. Some nice nice leaves, I'm hoping that things are going to be good this year for the grapevines. Next we come along with asparagus, as you can see they are looking excellent. Look at that, I've had several pickings from those already and I'm very pleased with. So I've left the sticks on because there's still a cat and a fox that wants to uh, use it in the toilet with them sticks that's all the prunings um, they don't like walking in the sticks then there's me bin with me potatoes in that's looking good in fact let's go up and have a look at that 
There, there's our bath that I'll put the potatoes in. <coughs> Let's have a look and see what they're looking like. Look at that. Super duper. Super duper. Put that back down. On. I wanted to show you this. This is, I think it's called sea holly. It's like a cauliflower and it grows on the seashore. Well, I've got some seed and I've made myself like a little seashore bed. As you can see, I've put them stones around. I've filled it with shingle and seaweed and I've planted the seed and that is looking good. They were very popular in Victorian times. A bit like um, cauliflower, I think, or, or um, broccoli. And moving along. I've got some strawberries growing in a path there. I've done that on purpose. In dry summers, the strawberries still manage because they get the moisture from under the paving slab. Then come on round to our shallots. Now these were saved shallot from last year, and as you can see, they are doing very nicely. And the potatoes, I've put um, polythene over those to keep them from the frost, and they're doing very nicely as well. Moving along, there's the um, spinach, perpetual spinach. That is now really leafing up. So I'm getting loads of pickings from that, but of course it's going to go to seed any minute. Then our broccoli plants are here. I've had lots of pickings from the broccoli. It's um, purple spraying broccoli. It's quite nice. It's just little spears. Um, I find it's a bit short of flavour, so I might try a different one next year. And come on round, you can see I've now prepared for my pumpkins and I've put watering tubes in in case we have a dry summer. There's a nice purple spray and broccoli, all ready to pick. broccoli as you can see they're looking really really nice then the pond all the all the um the frog spawns all gone i'm just hoping it's all hatched into tadpoles and then our last couple of grapevines and they're in leaf then we've got the bins behind that have got potatoes in they're all um, beginning to get to the edge of the bin. I'm just hoping that they'll survive if we have any frost. We've got plenty of lovely blossom on the apple tree. And I think on that blossomy note, we'll stop. This is the end for um, April into May. We'll see you in May.